Hello everyone. Welcome back to War Hospital. I hope you're having a great day today. We have less than 16 hours to get this upgrade, the Trauma Ward Center done. And honestly, it's going to happen. I mean, it's only been 10 hours since the time we started this thing. We're already half done. So I got high hopes. I think we're, I think we're going to be set to get that guy. It's going to be good. Uh, at the end of the last video, I told you I was going to help. Uh, I was going to figure out these engineers and I did. Uh, I went to the save file and, uh, <laughs> more save file editing. Uh, I basically took the assigned building property from Mason Chasey because he was, you know, in here and ready to go and resting. And, uh, I took the assigned building property, which said, uh, service barracks or something like that. I forget what the exact terminology was for it. Um, and I went ahead and applied that to the no assigned building status that these two had. So Engleby and Chrissy both had the no assigned building status applied to their character, which like prohibited me from moving them around for some reason. And, uh, so what I did is I just copied that status to these two and now ta-da, I can use them. Great how that works, huh? No idea how these bugs are going about, but I'm going to set these guys on their way over to that trauma ward so that they can Sir, patient is cured. so they can help us uh, figure Sir, that out patient is cured. so the ambulances are coming in our CCS has been very quiet <laughs> I said it again but very quiet the last uh, few hours in game here must have done some really good work here most people are just well rested and ready to rock and uh, this guy's pretty expensive on the meds let me tell you for, for his rank so we're going to amputate because it saves resources. That's what we want to do. We want to save the resources. Nurses are looking pretty good. I'm um, getting, getting pretty close to just, you know, giving them back their shifts. But it would be nice to be able to get to the point where we could get them the, three, the triple shift system. Uh, I think it would be a really good thing to have. But we need our rehabilitation center and our casualty clearing station both completely upgraded. That's these upgrades here. I need all of that. To be done uh first no just this one's the ccs the advanced rehabilitation center is here so i need one i need both of these done um so i'm thinking we can start with the ccs gives us more beds for patients more slots for nurses etc uh we could go with this uh, d this one first and i hit improve and then uh staff lodging you can get let's say you there and uh you don't have a whole lot of time left so you'll go there so we'll get a couple of people started on that since the trauma ward is already on its way. And uh, let's go ahead and just, yeah, we'll just make the surgery normal. It's fine. So Natalie Wise has a promotion now. The speeds of operating wards. So she's often in the, in the wards. And I think work significantly better when working with others is a pretty good thing. Operating wards almost always has two people in it. So I like warm. Okay, so... I think what we're going to do, yeah. So Natalie Weiss is in there already. And I want Emilia Axtell to be in there too. And I think I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm not as sure as I was. I, I'm not as sure as I thought I was. I think Adrian Roth needs to be in this one. I keep forgetting my staff because there's just, it, it's not all in one screen. So I'm looking at which one is going to be good in the operating wards. And that's the rehab center. So it's, you're good at CCS operating wards is Natalie Weiss, Axtell. I know that. And who else? There was one more that was really good in the operating wards. I thought, uh, oh, right here, Erickson, Martine Erickson. Okay. So Martine Erickson, you should be, you already are in there. So it's just these three. That's why I'm, that's why I'm lost. It's just you three. So we'll have a Madeline on here. Let's put 12 hour shifts again. And we'll make sure that, let's say, Madeline and Amelia are working together. And then you two will work together. That's fine. Uh, over for the rehab center, we're going to stick Lottie. Oh, Adrian Roth is over there. And then Rosie Wood. Lottie goes here. Rosie Wood's going to go here. And then you're on 12-hour shifts, too. Uh, and then you guys can be 12-hour shifts now, too. So just gonna get the nurses back to where they were so we don't have to uh babysit that anymore at least i'm hoping not patients waiting for decisions patients waiting for decisions let's take a look all right so we're still a good status here 
So I'm going to drop you in here. Still good. Uh, let's go ahead and put you in here for the drafts and then stick both of you on the front lines. And we'll see whether or not that tricks over to Sir, stable Sir, or strong. Good. Sorry. Whether that takes over to strong or not. Uh, and then you are eight meds. Yikes, dude. In a very intensive surgery. Yikes. Eight is a lot for this guy. 11 hours. Most successful shooter of his town's football team. Ah, uh, I don't really want to use half my meds on one guy. A lot of these guys are usually like three or four, sometimes five, but eight. Ugh. I hate that I'm doing that and there's no way to make that cheaper either. It just isn't possible. Oh, what's this? Uh, what's happening? Sir, may I have a moment of your time? Uh, absolutely. Yes, you can. One second, please. <laughs> uh, shorter rehab. Certainly. What is on your mind, head doctor? It seems that some unknown disease has started to spread among civilians. Oh, no. I am becoming more and more concerned about it. This isn't Till good. today. I considered it as nothing more than an inconvenience. However, today, one of the sick died because of the disease. This is concerning, I agree. Unfortunately, we do not have the means to help the civilians with diseases. No, we don't. That is what concerns me the most, sir. I fear that the disease could spread to the soldiers and patients, and we are not prepared to handle outbreaks. Uh, that's a lot that of people going to that train. I would like to delegate a few people to study the disease and send the results to HQ. This should help us discover what we are against. Oh boy. Sir, may I inform you that I left a personal recommendation note with one of the patients who was recently brought to the casualty clearing station. Of course you did. All right, we'll take a look at it. Uh, so 81%, we're totally going to get that. Uh, let's take a look at... What we got going on here? Yeah. Chemical wards. This is the VIP. He's considered stable. Uh, pleasure to inform you that Matthew Baker will be promoted to Sergeant Major immediately after his return to active duty. As such, I would like to suggest a quick handling of his case as there is a need for such brave and gallant men on the front lines. I would also warn you that HQ will not take his potential loss or inability to return to active duty lightly. So, you know, basically... Don't screw it up, essentially, is what they're saying. Fine. We'll send our best guy on it. He's exhausted. Well, well the well-rested guy. We'll send the well-rested guy on it immediately. Uh, and then you are resting at exhausted status. I'm going to put you here since you're in good condition. We'll put the rest first. And we'll go ahead and take care of you as well. Uh, and the trauma ward, I really hate that you're... At least you're five meds and you're treat th uh, level three. It could be way worse. Uh, and then there's nothing going on in the surgery ward, thankfully. Uh, so that's why my engineers have been predominantly focusing on these two. We're pretty fine here for now, but I do need to start pulling back on this because people are tired. Uh, yep, there you go. Thank you. And this guy's resting. I need, I need this to be full force. I have to have that in time. So we're just going to wait a little bit uh, on the chemical meds. Yeah. Patients All right, so lots of new patients coming in from the train. Patient, new patients coming in over here, and it looks like there's these little symbols happening. So probably a disease. Sir, may I speak with you? Oh, good. Of course. Always on your mind. The plague that broke out, sir. It is taking a heavy toll on the civilians. Yes, I am aware. Then, I would like to propose that we start admitting them for treatment. I understand that we are a military hospital. And that our priority are soldiers. Then you should understand that. <laughs> but it pains me to see them suffer so much, sir. I know our supplies are not limitless, but I think the hospital can manage to treat at least some of them. Please consider it, sir. This is all I ask. She says it's all her, all she asks. Like it's not a big ask, you know? 
Some sort of disease started to spread among civilians and refugees. Today's first fatal case worried head Dr. Grissing. He wanted, uh, he wants to create a small team to study the disease in case it spreads to soldiers and patients. We should do that. One physician and one nurse will be unavailable for 12 hours. Um, that's my chemical doctors, right? That's the chemical. That's the chemical doctors. Uh, uh, fine. We'll do that. Um, he's currently operating, so it's gonna be you. And I guess we'll have to pull somebody else out. Um, these guys are all in the operating wards right now. I think if I have to pull some people out, it's probably going to be the rehabilitation center. So it's going to be Adrian Roth. You too, Sir, go. Doctor is starting a new shift. Okay, what about this? Nurse Janet asks to consider ad ad uh, admitting six civilians uh, in the operating wards for treatment while individual patients were admitted. In special cases, admitting all the six civilians can be straining for the hospital infrastructure and uh, it can be harder to explain to HQ. It will, however, help six civilians get better quicker with less risk. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, so like mm, th this decision, right? Like the humanitarian thing to do is to say, yes, we absolutely want to treat them, but we're strained so much on supplies right now. I don't know where these guys are going to go. Probably to chemicals, I would think. Um, I mean, maybe trauma. I, I have no idea where they're going to go, right? We have almost no meds for those. But for trauma, we, we can't even afford to treat a single more patient right now. Um, so, like, we're really, really strained for resources. Trying to get the operating word uh, picked up there so that uh, all, all my engineers are doing that. Now, I do have 10 drafts. We'll consider it for later. Um, I do have 10 drafts and like these guys are going to, they have to finish that too. Let's pull you out, pull you out, stick you in there, stick you in there. We'll pull you out for a rest. We'll leave it at three for now. I think that'll probably finish on time. We'll do one on this and then I need at least two of you. Yeah, I need two of you working on that. One of you can work on this. Why does it keep sending it back? Quit doing that. Uh, I think that, and then I need somebody on alcohol as well. So, so get, get, get over there. Yeah. Something like that, I think is what's going to be needed right now. And then once we're done with this, I can have three extra engineers and we'll be able to make things a little bit faster, but it's going to be tight. It's going to be a real tight shift. Uh, at the moment, nobody's getting a bonus to rehabilitation. That's only happening half the time now. And Edith is unbearable to work with other people. So what I actually should do is swap them so that she works that next that other shift and she won't start working till eight so she'll have like eight hours to rest now which is good edith is one of those people who are unbearable to to be around right uh edith edith nurses edith where is she right here works much slower others working with her and tire more works slightly worse at rehabilitation center and tires slightly less. So she actually shouldn't even be in the in the rehab center to begin with. So why don't I switch to having Edith come over here and Olivia can go over here. And then I'll just swap you to second shift at this time. Yeah. I think we'll do that instead. We need to swap out medic teams a little bit here. Probably cemetery is going to need to swap out. And ADS is not that big of a deal at the moment. So whatever. Let's just stick two of you guys in here. Let's go. Uh, I'm not sure who. I guess we'll do this and do it for 12, 12 hour shifts yeah. there. Medics are on the way. Uh, okay. So yeah, my biggest thing is making sure we get this done, which it should yeah. finish on Engineers time. And uh, to treat those civilians, I've got to have more meds. So like I was saying, I have 10 drafts. And so with those 10 drafts we could get more medical supplies although that is just a huge ask because it's three drafts for all that but i think i kind of need it and we'll get some alcohol so that we can make more that's nine drafts right there uh, i think let's get some surgical supplies too okay we're gonna top up we're gonna use all those drafts to top up on resources 
And then... I mean, the humanitarian thing to do is to help everyone, right? That's what we want to do. We got 19 yeah. bodies waiting for burial. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sir, medics are on the way. You look like you could use some help. I think we'll go ahead and do that. So mysterious disease. These guys are researching it. And if I say that we're going to treat the civilians, uh, I don't know how many are going to be there and where they're going to go, man. How long do I have to wait? Like, can I choose to do that in a little while? Can I like, w I don't know, wait 12 hours? <laughs> wait until this is done first, you know? Sir, medics reach the cemetery. Uh, I don't know if I can do that, man. Burial progress is going to go a lot faster now. 16. Just check out the uh, memorial here. I bet there's many, many, many pages. Yeah. Here they go. Lots and lots of names. We are not done adding them either. Not done adding the names. Everything's halted here. I need a nurse in here. What's going on? Oh, they're all on the same shift. Whoops. Um, Go like this. And uh, let's actually have two of you work now. Yeah, get to work right now. Whoops. I messed that one up, didn't I? We're coming in. Sir, the How many? See what we got going on right now? Like, treating the civilians is going to be a real pain in the ass. If we add civilians to this madness. Uh, he's working on mysterious disease. So he's not going to help this guy. So this guy needs to go here. And all of you aren't going to get help either. Because he's working on mysterious disease. Thankfully, you're all in good condition. We're going to give you the oxygen and we're going to give, we're going to get you here. That's a pretty short, straightforward thing. You're pretty straightforward things too. Uh, I think when you get back, when you get back, we'll have you treat this guy and then we'll have you rest because you're probably gonna be tired after that over here. Um, seven meds that takes all of them. That's crazy. Taking all the meds. Okay. It's going to have to happen though. So we're operating here. And we're going to set you here and we're going to, oh, you're resting now. Convenient. And then you're going to be here and then you'll have a rest after that. Surgeries. Everybody's well rested. So we'll just say you take one, you take one, you take one, and then you take this guy after since your procedure is really short. We'll have you deal with these two. Okay. Everyone has a task. Construct Trauma Ward Enhancement 2 is a achievement. So we got that just under six hours left on this guy. We'll go ahead and accept your offer, sir. And now we have a third trauma doc, which we can put it to work right away. So there we go. Now I'm out of trauma meds. At least until that train comes, I'm out of trauma meds. So we're not going to be able to treat anybody who's got that problem right now. We had a, uh, an engineer that's very tired and we're going to say that we want you to use a blessed resources to produce medicine. Hmm. Interesting. Innovative. Balhoi. He's going to be innovative. Whoop. Oh, I got a bunch of things here. Okay. Shorter operation. Yes. And decrease cost. Thank you. Also engineers. Okay. Hang on. Nurses are very tired. Are they still working? Yeah. They got a, hmm. Like they're going to get exhausted before their shift is up. You know, I, I, I got to do this back. I, as, as much as I want to do that, I, I got to do this for now. I think you guys will be okay, but I, I got to do this for now on the operating wards. You, they're just too tired. And uh, let's go ahead and have engineering working on the meds. I don't know why that's doing. That's a new thing. Having it not like fully accept where I want them to go and you know, having to drag them twice. That's a new thing. New bugs happening all the time. I'm breaking things. Uh, we're going to stick you in here, actually. Let's make more. Oh, come on. Get over there. Make more meds. For real now. What's Sir, going on? on the way. Come on now. Get over there. Right there. Come on. Okay. Something's definitely going on here. 
I can't move people into the pharmacy. That moved it from here after I dragged him in. Oh, <laughs> uh, make it stop. Seriously. Just go right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Okay. Well, I mean, this might be another one of those things I'm just going to have to deal with. Uh, I'm not going to type it. I could edit save file and put you in that location, I guess. But that's that's getting ridiculous to the point of rage quit at that point. So I'm not going to rage quit the game over that little bug. But it is a little frustrating to not be able to put people where you want them. So there's that. And let's take this look here. So we're still considered good. We got a long time rehabilitating here. Let's put you in here and see what happens. Nope. Still not good enough. Okay. Uh, I do. I need the drafts desperately, though. That's the problem. So um, we'll put you in here because you're quick. We're going to have you giving me drafts. And then I guess I'll put you in here to make us strong. There we go. Okay. We're at least going to be strong uh, at the time. This guy rehabilitates just after the combat. Patient is cured. That is just after the combat. I'm put you in here too, just because. Uh, who is that guy that I just put in here? It would be 16 hours. I'm gonna put you there instead because. Sir, patient is cured. Yeah. We're still strong. It's gonna be fine. Can we handle it? Can we handle civilians? You know. Can we handle helping them from their, you know, from their ailments? You use less resources to make things. Come on, get in there. Uh, less resources to make things. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have you make the meds for now. All engineers are working as fast as they can right now. I'm going to regret this, but it's the humane thing to do, right? Let's go. Thank you, sir. I will start admitting civilians at once. I hate this. <laughs> it's like, it's a thing where I have to do it, but I don't want to do it. So now, New patient people like, yeah, they're going to be chemical, right? And these are civilians. Yep, these, this, 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 this is a civilian right here, right? Yeah. She stopped praying. A god who allows something like this to happen does not deserve to be worshipped. Uh, so sick from the unidentified disease, right? No idea how to treat her. It's a one hour operation. It's very easy. It only takes one supply. Thankfully. Okay. Um, we're going to take you off of your rest. She's stable. It's a very fast process. We're going to put the civilian first and then we'll do this one. All right. So that doc should now get over there for that. Patient shows signs of high spirit. Oh, good. Morale goes up and we have shorter rehabilitation. Fine. We're at 80% morale, actually. This is better than I thought it would be, but I guess I'm doing all right. Yeah. Yep, this one here. We are still strong. Uh, I need the drafts so bad. Like, I just need money. I need the drafts to do anything. It's so critical to my success in the future having this having these resources God, look at all these patients oh no this this is a problem dude <laughs> uh we're gonna have a problem here mr vernon darche uh i kind of wish we have the enhancement for this one we have the enhancement for this one i wish we had the enhancement for this one now <laughs> oh no okay well this process takes less than an hour. He takes, he takes so many meds though. Can I give them the oxygen thing? I cannot give them the oxygen. So they're all going to take three meds. Oh my gosh. Well, you need to go here because you're considered stable. We'll have the oxygen thing for you. You guys are still good. That's fine. You're considered stable. Let's bring you... No, I'm going to leave you there because when this doctor comes back, he's going to treat you, okay? Then... Ugh, I hate that, though. Because, like... This is a six-hour procedure. All these are really short. So, I think we'll do all the, all the under one hours before him. I'm sorry, dude. But these are all very easy. They don't take a lot of effort. They don't take a lot of resources or time. 
and your surgery takes your procedure um it just takes a lot and uh yeah we're gonna have to put a rest somewhere here doctor will be exhausted at this point so we'll do a rest there and then uh you're gonna come down and be uh i guess here we'll do that okay this doctor is coming back in two hours the mysterious research, I mean. Sir, operation was successful. He's coming back in two hours. Let's check my engineers really quick. I got lots of freight. And I got plenty of alcohol because of buying it. Let's get you guys out of here. We'll take a quick break on that. Yeah, take a quick break on that and make sure that we keep up on our rations because that is... That's a problem right now, Sir, too. Engineer is on the way. Oh, look at all these people. Look at all these people. Oh, no. I don't think we can treat them all. At least I've got some med for, for these guys now, at least. Uh, and then this one's going to be an amputee. We'll just do that. Mm, rehabilitation center. We're still good there. We're strong. We have a positive thing here. Shorter Sir, rehab is great. Is Less resource consumption would be even better. Sir, dispatch from HQ. Oh, good. I can't Repeat. wait. Doctors at HQ studied Dr. Grizzing's findings. According to them, symptoms are consistent with the Spanish influenza, sir. Spanish flu. Morale's going to rise on that one. And lower the chance of the wound not to heal fully. Longer rehab. I can afford that, but 75 hours is insane, so... Lord have mercy. Then the outbreak is inevitable. According to HQ, similar yeah. cases were encountered on other parts of the front line up north. HQ sends recommendations on how to limit the spread of the disease. Are any of them effective? No. Some, sir. <laughs> the best is to force the civilians to stay at home and interact with each other as rarely as possible. Where have I heard that one before? Holy shit. <laughs> Look at everybody's in serious condition. There's nothing I can do. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know. This guy's going to die if I don't put him forward, so we'll do that. Um, the soldiers, though, you know? I need another doctor. <laughs> really bad. Okay. Well, if this patient could kindly hurry the hell up, that'd be great. Da uh, Dawson Westbrook. Let's see where we're at, Dawson. Westbrook, 24 minutes left. Okay. So, with 24 minutes left... Uh, shit, I don't know. This person, then this person. They're at least stable. So, you first. Then you. I can't do over six. Yeah, you're going to have to go back in the pile. Sorry, guys. Uh, you're in good condition, so that's why. Uh, these are under an hour of procedures. So, we're going to get them done as fast as we can. Yeah, and now they die because they're after the rest. You're going to have to be exhausted in order to pull this off. I can't afford to have you exhausted. So, whoever I put before that rest, or whoever I put after that rest is dead. Basically. You're going to do all of these. And then rest. And then you can't rest because you're already tired. You, you've gotta you gotta get through here. Oh no, this is, this is horrible. The outbreak. It's horrible, I say. Help us contain it. So many serious condition people. I feel like there is no way to There's no way to save them all. Right? Is that basically what we're seeing right now? There's no way to save them all. Stable people need to be at the end, but it's still, it's too late. I need him to not rest. And that's all there is to it. I need him to not rest. And it doesn't really matter because they're still going to die. I need to get them treatment faster. I can't save them all. That's just the way it goes. I'm sorry. I can't. Serious condition ones. You got it. You got to. Uh, uh. <laughs> all right. Um, tell you what, if you take one med, you're in. If you take two meds, you're out. All right, how many meds? You are a soldier, though. I need, I need you. Uh, let's do these two right now, and then we'll rest. We get to the exhausted stage. 
I don't want to be exhausted. Good God. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I think it's just the game is setting me up for, for death, right? It's setting me up for failure here. All right, here's what I want to do. Here's how we're going to prioritize this. All of the civilians, right? Let's see who takes the least amount of meds. That's who we'll put first. So you're one med, you're one med, uh, you're one. And all right, so all the ones... Nope. You guys are in good condition though. So you're, you're not there. I'm talking about just the serious ones. So now we have two meds and two meds and you're going to die. <laughs> okay. You, apparently you guys are going to live there. That's where the rest will be then. All right. On this side, we have two meds, uh, two meds. Let's do three. It looks like there's only one more in serious condition. So it's going to have to be like that. Then there's a rest here. After exhaustion. Uh, this guy might die. We'll see. <laughs> he might die. And then stable. No, he dies. <laughs> I have no idea. We're going to need an upgrade. You know, we need an operating ward upgrade. I don't have the drafts for it. I have personnel points, right? But they're not the right kind of personnel points. They're for engineers and for medic teams. Um, I can get another nurse too, I suppose, which is good. I can also get another surgeon because I have those. I got that upgrade, didn't I? I can get another one, but it's, uh, mm. I'm thinking engineer to try to keep up with the meds, right? Medic teams are, oh, incredibly strained. I, yeah. Wow. My bad. Here you go. Ah, uh, my bad. Wow. You guys are really, really hating me now, aren't you? <laughs> Let's do this 24 hour, 24 hour. They're going to be out for a very long time. Another medical team. That is what I need. I need two more medics for those personnel points. Yeah. I can get two more on the medical team then. Fine. We'll do it. Sir, medics are on the way. It's got to happen. Nothing I can do about it. It's got to happen. So Operation was successful. we'll get some more medics over there because they're just too strained too exhausted the ccs just keeps Sir, piling up the the there is nothing i can do about these guys they're all hitting only the chemical ward and that's the one that's like if they would just spread out it'd be great if they would just spread out but they don't do that uh okay who are we we're going through these patients pretty quickly though right their, their list is uh coming back down so uh if i put you here and put the rest after you still survive uh, I can rest here. Looks like it's fine. This is the, this is the exhaustion line. If I go here, you die. If I go there, you die. If I go there, you die. So anyone who goes after the rest is dead. So I'm going to have to maybe suck it up and be exhausted for a little bit there. So I can try to save all those civilians. I don't know if that's an achievement, but I'm going to try. What now? What now? Let me guess. Our soldiers are infected with the Spanish flu. Uh-huh. And? And? And what? What is it? Sir, operation was successful. What is it? What is it now? HQ and Dr. Grissing's findings suggest there's a disease outbreak among the hospital civilians. is Spanish influenza. I think this was already up. I just missed clicking it. Uh, to prevent the rapid spread of the plague... And overloading hospitals with sick. A set of recommendations was produced by HQ and Dr. Grissing. The most effective of all of them seems to be force civilians to remain at home and interact with other people as rarely as possible. Social distancing will be introduced. I won't take away their freedoms. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, if I played this game before 2020, this would be a no brainer, wouldn't it? It'd be like this. This is automatic, man. It's the only thing that makes sense right now. But now there's going to be that, that small sect of the population, that, that minority sector of the population that says, no, this is the right one. It always was. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, here you go. Social distancing is now in, in, in effect. All right. So I think since all of you guys are in good condition, that you are all my favorite people. Thank you. Uh, my doctors are all very tired and they're trying their best.
to treat all of you as fast as possible. What do you want now? Sir, may we speak? Uh, can I say no? Can I? Can I say no? Uh, okay, Martin Erickson is calm, good in the operating ward. And I think... Yeah, I think uh, Tyra's significantly slower when working solo. I don't think that's going to matter for you. CCS. I guess it gives me more, makes me more flexible here, right? So I'll I'll, put, I'll go resilient. Any doctor? What do you need? I don't know what he needs. Improving safety measures. <laughs> Dr. Grissing believes that with the help of a small team, he could study the spread of the disease and come up with solutions to improve safety measures used by hospital, further limiting the spread of the plague. Uh, one surgeon, one trauma specialist, and one engineer will be off for 16 hours. Okay. I mean, it's, it's a plague. We got to do it. For surgeons, we're sending Gerard. Because these two are very high trained. Like, they have got a lot of perks. Trauma specialist, these two are operating, so you win. Engineer, we're going to send... Uh, I don't know who. Let's send Nathaniel. No, I just gave him an upgrade. Logan Finley. You are currently what? Making chemical meds? Who's doing nothing right now? You know what? You two were one of the two bugged ones before. I think I'm going to make you go. Oh. Reports about the disease from HQ came to hospital yesterday. I read through them and I believe I found something interesting. Yeah, what's that? We know that not all patients die of the sickness. After reading through the reports, I am sure that we could predict severity of the disease by the symptoms displayed by the patient. You think? If that were to be true, this would be helpful in triaging the patient. Yeah, it certainly would. Uh, let's say... Serious, exhausted. If I do this, he dies. That's the problem. Can I put you here? No, but now this guy's exhausted. <laughs> There's just nothing I can do. I can't avoid exhaustion. I can't save everybody. Somebody. Somebody's going to die. But one exhausted doctor is not the end of the world. We can handle one exhausted doctor, I hope. Exactly, sir. I know there is a connection there, but there is too much work for me to do all by myself. I would request that you assign me a small team to help with my research. You want me to give you more people? Oh my God. Do I have to? I think it was a mistake to take the people. It was a mistake to take civilians. Big mistake was made. I need another doctor. Stat. How much does that improvement cost? It is eight drafts. And then I open myself up for two additional physicians. But that doesn't mean I can buy them because I don't have the points for it anyway. But it would be nice to have this. Boy, would it. Oh my god. Okay, well, Dr. Grissing believes that there are connections between symptoms and the severity of the disease. He requests to be assigned a team to research the topic in hopes that this would help with triaging the patients and allow for earlier discovery of more severe cases. So one physician, <laughs> not a freaking chance, dude. One medic team will be off for 12 hours. I, I, the physician is the deal breaker here. I can't do that. I, I can't. The physician is, uh, the physician is way too important. I can't do that. I, I, I need two of these guys in order to save like everybody. I can save everybody if I've got the enough physicians, you know? And this guy's going to rest right after this and then go six hours on this guy. Which I think I'm just going to keep pushing people in front of him until it says he dies. <laughs> I'm going to push the two stable people here. Everyone else is in good condition. So if we can hit all these serious ones and, uh, you know, we get our rest right here. 
We might be able to save every civilian. Sir, patient is cured. I know you don't have to save every civilian, but... Uh, damn it, I want to. Uh, we're still strong for the battle ahead, so I'm getting more drafts. And even more drafts, probably. Let's send... We can send you to the trenches, but you're going to happen... It's going to happen after the battle, anyway. Sir, new patient arrived. But you know we're going to need to replenish the strength of that place anyway, so whatever. All right, let's check my medical teams really quick. Casualty clearing station is done. We have all sorts of people we can put in here. Let's do a quick swap of the staff. I don't think ADS is necessary here. We'll do that. Uh, nurses are basically revolting. They're basically just saying, you son of a bitch. I understand your complaints. I hear you. I hear all of you. Uh, your shift is going to be done at 8 a.m. You'll be fine. But I could give, could get you in there just to help with that shift for now. Sir, medics are on the way. So we'll do that. Everybody's moving all around. Sir. All right. How are we doing on the, on the, okay, so this guy is now going to die. Soldier's going to die. So I got to put you to there. And you're still stable. I'll get you out of there. So you're going to have to be treated. Can I do you after that? It seems fine. I can always move this guy down later. These guys are all critical condition now. <laughs> I think they might die anyway. We're at 79% morale. So if they die in a, while they're waiting, then they die while they're waiting. Also, I think having nurses here helps with their condition deterioration, right? So we're going to take Edith out of here and we're actually going to put Olivia there. No, let's, uh, let's switch to a 24 hour schedule here. We'll put Matilda in here for now. And uh, we want to help with their deterioration while they're waiting. It's gross. It's terrible. It's awful. This guy's in serious shit. Uh, serious shit. Yeah. He's in serious shit. Uh, let's go. Or Bo, take, take that job. Let's get him taken care of if we can. And uh, man, 21 people in here now. It's not getting any easier 17 people I, I you have to I have to I've got it I've got to start denying them there's just no way around this I simply do not have enough this guy's already exhausted and he's gonna try to treat another one then he's gonna rest no I can't do it you're gonna you're going to die. I'm going to deny you. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I can't save everyone. There's just not enough doctors. I need more physicians to do that. All right. Amelia Axel. I, I think I like your stuff here. Good at the wards. Works better with working with others and tires. Others working with them tire less. Changing it out. Changing out friendly for one of these. Doesn't make sense. So I like where you are. We're going to do nothing. And change it. We're going to put it exactly the way it is. Uh, CCS is currently over capacity with patients. I know. I know. And when it's over capacity, everyone deteriorates a lot faster. That's probably why that guy was going to die. And he wasn't before, but now he is. That's probably why. So we're getting some resting people. Rest is good. Let's put you there. Do your rest first, though. Another stable patient here. I'll swap this over because he's one hour surgery. Um, from there, we'll say. Stable, stable, stable. Everybody here is considered good, so we'll wait and see how they turn. Start prioritizing the people who are, are turning. Yeah. Oh my god. Overcapacity again. Overcapacity again. The rest is not. I don't want to be overcapacity, is the problem. Do this really quick. That guy's one, he's a one hour patient. So just do that really quickly and then go back to, go back to resting. If we can get this number down below, I'm not going to get this number down below 20. I need to get the number down below 20. All right. You have a seat. You're too tired. Engineers. You're actually solid. Good. Medical teams. You're pretty solid. We're going to need people in the cemetery. I have enough people in the cemetery. We're good. Uh, just get a whole, just get a lot of people in CCS right now, and then uh, what I want to do is hit the t hit the uh, the shift. So there's three and three. There we go. We don't have to manage that anymore. 
ADS. We'll swap you guys to sh shifts. We'll swap you guys to shifts. You two are on standby. Nurses. Uh, Natalie and Erickson go in the operating wards, right? I forget where you guys are good at. I know Edith goes in here. I'm going to swap. You guys are all on the same shift. I'm going to have you go on the second shift instead. Yeah. And then you can help with that second shift. And then Natalie will go to the operating ward along with Edith. And then we'll swap you to shifts to where Edith is on the next shift and you are on the next shift, which starts at 8 p.m. I think I want to swap you and you. Okay. Let's try that. Shifting people around again. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> all right. Patient Jean Jerome died after being denied. Knew that was going to happen. Cannot save them all. And you know what? These guys are in serious condition. Let's get a rest after. That's that soldier, man. How many resources does he, does he take? five I think we'll be all right it is important that we get the soldiers done though so and he's a he's back to being exhausted of course he is all right come on come on just a little bit longer guys it's intense isn't it it's pretty intense it's so intense in fact that I think it's probably time Oh my, what is this? The train, what is this? You know what this is? This is a cliffhanger. That's what this is. Come on back for the next one. <laughs> and then I'll click this button and we can see what happens with the train tracks as well as with the battle, as well as with the Spanish flu. It's wild. We'll see you next time. It's been fun. Bye-bye.